Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. It is our year-ender special with Asian Journal and that's why kasama natin si Annie Napomoseno to talk about all the stories this year that made an impact to the Filipino-American community. Joining us uh, is Allison Escobar. She is here in behalf of Asian Journal uh, just to give a uh, fill-in perspective to all the news that happened. So, umpisahan na po natin, pag-usapan po natin what were the top items uh, for the news in January of this year, 2015. Annie? Oh, here's one of them. Pope Francis visited the Philippines for a four-day trip. At least two million Filipinos waited on the street to watch him ride away in his non-bulletproof Pope mobile. After 20 years, Pope Francis was the third leader of the Catholic Church to visit the country and came to personally show sympathy for the thousands who were killed after Super Typhoon Yolanda in late 2013. The Pope was reportedly impressed with the hospitality of Filipinos with whom he met at various places in the Philippines, including the Mall of Asia Arena, Tacloban, and Leyte. All right, so I know that uh, everybody was really preparing uh, for Pope Francis to be there. What can you say? Uh, all this fanfare that happened. <laughs> I actually know a few people that were there, and they were just very excited about being there and in the presence of the Pope. And even despite the typhoons and the rains happening, it was just a beautiful moment. And was so very wait, wait, wait a minute. You're saying that Phil Amps <laughs> from here went all the way to the Philippines just because Pope Francis was going to be there? Yeah, I do know a few people that traveled, just they were very excited to be a part of it. Um, okay, wow. Mm -hmm. That was your <laughs> chance, I guess. Yeah. 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 Okay, so... Wish I was there. <laughs> uh, I, I do know a lot of people that uh, made an effort to go mm -hmm. out in the streets to welcome mm -hmm. the Pope, but um, there were also other people that were saying that it was just too much, that there was uh, mm -hmm. this sort of idolatry already pagdating kay Pope Francis. I guess he's, he's a very likable Pope. You know, he's very down to earth mm -hmm. and he's always trying to connect with the people, which I believe is what he is supposed to be about. He is a person uh -oh. and he's trying to reach out to the people. Um, I don't think uh, they idolize him as a saint yet <laughs> uh -oh. but but really that's his purpose and it's unusual that he has a lot of um followers or supporters who are not catholic uh oh Chaka, uh -huh. ano, very progressive si pope francis mm -hmm. right okay let's move on uh to our next story that was really uh that really got people riled up in january of 2015 annie Yes, gunmen killed 17 individuals in Paris throughout a three-day attack that began on January 7 at the office of Charlie Hebdo, a weekly provocative French satirical magazine that typically features satirical cartoons of the prof Prophet Muhammad. The attackers were two brothers who were born, raised, and radicalized in Paris. Following the shooting, which was at the time deemed the deadliest attack on France in the last 50 years, authorities revealed that the perpetrators coordinated the shooting via text message. The brothers were shot dead by police three days after they were they fired shots at Charlie Hebdo. Okay, this was uh, everybody was mm -hmm. talking about this. Allison, uh, what did the Filipino American community have to say about Hebdo? It was a tragic event, and I think everyone in the whole world was united in their sadness. Um, different cultures, and even I know there was a girl that was um, from California that was killed, and so just people that come together and uniting themselves in their sadness and praying for one another to fight these terrible terrorist attacks. Um, yeah. When is it going to end? Sad. These terrorist attacks keep happening. What is happening to our world? Well, yeah. people should be able to express their opinion and like uh, Charlie Hebdo is a satirical magazine. Uh -oh. So, you know, there is some sort of merong risk yun eh, when uh -oh. you speak out about uh -oh. something. But then again, you know, if you exist in the world, you are not beyond any sort of criticism mm -hmm. or reaction. Ayan. Okay. Uh, Pag-usapan naman natin ang nangyari sa February this year of 2015. What was the top story, Annie? Yes. Judge Andrew S. Hainan of the Federal District Court for the Southern District issued a preliminary injunction against President Obama's executive action on immigration. The move affects two provisions of the executive order. One that will give deportation deferrals to parents of U.S. citizens or legal residents who have been in the U.S. for more than 
five years, or the DAPA, and expand the 2012 DACA program to allow people under age 31 who were brought to the U.S. as children to apply for two-year deportation deferrals and work permits. Hainan's ruling allows 26 states to pursue a lawsuit to permanently shut down the program, which can potentially prevent the deportation of some 5 million people. The Obama administration halted the implementation of the programs while the Justice De Department filed an appeal months later. The Obama administration is seeking the Supreme Court's review of the order. Okay, what can you say about this issue? It's definitely something that's been going on for so long, this immigration chat, mm -hmm. and I know that the White House administration has been pushing it um, pushing it for so long and it's crazy that Congress keeps delaying um, in my opinion that they keep delaying the order that is preventing so many uh, families to be reunited here yeah. in the US especially Filipino families who are waiting waiting for so long just to see their loved ones mm -hmm. yes and um, I know parents. for a fact a mm -hmm. lot of people that were hoping for that extended DAPA and DACA programs mm -hmm. Um, are now not eligible and now are in limbo. So yeah. they came out to say that they're undocumented tapos yung pala, hindi, hindi sila pwedeng bigyan ng papeles. Yeah, but hopefully the hold is really just a hold because I think everyone is worried about deportation more than yeah. anything when they're already together and then they get split apart by by this. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, we are very strong in our family units uh, being Filipinos that we always try to stay together. And you mm -hmm. know, Filipinos are hard workers. Tama. Okay. <laughs> If you're joining us here on Kababayan today, this is our year-ender special brought to you by Asian Journal. Magbabalik kami here on Kababayan today.